Hey everybody. So, uh, it's time for review. So, what review you might be asking? Uh, this time, it's not a product. It's about the truck. Uh, I have it a little over a year now. Uh, had a 20,000 mile marker. Uh, we're a little over that now. Haven't had time to get to this video until today. Nothing crazy, but so far I'm loving it. Some of my favorite things, they definitely include fuel mileage, which typically I get about 22 miles per gallon in the city and upwards of 27 to 28 on the highway, even with the bumper modification. While I haven't towed a lot with the Gladiator yet, I do own a 14 foot enclosed cargo trailer and this truck tows it much better than our Wrangler does. Another thing I really love about this Gladiator compared to the Wrangler is the seats. So the seats that we have in this are standard cloth seats. They are extremely comfortable. I've had people in here that have stated that they are way more comfortable than they fully ever expect in a Jeep. And 100% agree. And hopefully the trip that I have coming up, they will stay that way. Some of the other things I love about this Gladiator is that it's capable of so much stuff, even while it's as stock as it is. The towing capacity is more than double that of our Wrangler. While I don't have mud tires or more off-roady all-terrain tires, I definitely do see that the power in this vehicle kind of helps that to not be so much an issue. My other big thing with this truck, that's my favorite thing of all, is it's a Jeep. <laughs> what can I say? I love my Jeep. While I do love the Gladiator, there are some issues that I do have with it. Uh, it is a truck, it's not a Wrangler. So it does have a longer wheelbase. This does cause issues for me with breakover angles and turning has to be just a little bit wider, you know, just, just a little. But there's ways to resolve that. Main one which is adding a lift, which hopefully will happen soon. In regards to that lift, I'm definitely looking at uh, an AEV lift. It's only a two and a half inch lift, but I want something that I'm comfortable with, which I'm short, so I can only go so high without having to add extra stuff to be able to get in. Now my next issue has to do with things that have happened that have came from the factory. I've had a couple of technical service bulletins, TSBs for you folks that speak cheap. Uh, one of them includes the service def system C dealer dreaded message that appears on the electric vehicle display. The other one had absolutely no warning. Uh, after the first time taking the Jeep off-road, I actually took it into the dealership because it sounded like I was driving on rumble strips on the passenger side. And come to find out, uh, there was an issue with the front passenger drive shaft that had to be replaced. Uh, luckily, there was a TSB for this. Um, it, however, did take three, I believe three months to get the parts in. It took them less than a day to be able to install it and have it ready to go for me. Which, thankfully, my local dealership, they are very quick with what they need to do to get you back on the road. So thanks Extreme Dodge, which is also a dealership for Jeeps. While waiting for me to make this video, however, I did get a emissions recall. Turns out, again, issue from the dealership. Uh, the computer wasn't programmed quite right. So uh, again, Extreme Dodge was able to just have me bring in the Jeep. They updated the PCM and off I went 30 minutes later. Uh, so far, I haven't had much of an issue at all with the dealership. They're very friendly. Um, 
I'll go ahead and link them in the description. Hopefully that'll help them out a little bit. I'm not that big of a channel, but maybe one day. Now my biggest issue I've had so far isn't the problems with the Jeep. It isn't the generic issues that everyone has. My biggest issue is when people who are Jeep people tell me that this is not a real Jeep. Tell me that's not a real Jeep. While all these likes and dislikes, they're great. The best parts aren't even that the Jeep is a Jeep. The best parts so far for me have been the people I've got to meet, the friends I've made, um, the community that exists. Like, the community is huge. Not necessarily the forgivingest, but at least most of them are friendly. So, you're probably wondering what's next. For me, it's definitely going to be some more modifications. Um, I do already have some existing. There's the sway lock, which there's a video on. I'll, uh, I'll put it up here somewhere. Uh, I do have Invictus Molly um, fabric panels. I don't know what to call them, Invictus, so uh, I'm c comment down there and I'll pin it because I probably butchered it. But I do have a video coming for that. Now, the other thing that I just recently got was a Taser Mini. And I threw that in so that I can have some additional functionality without having to do a bunch of stuff disconnecting, reconnecting, because I had the J-Scan app before. And that to me was a great, easy, cheap option, but I wanted something a little more robust. So maybe I'll do a video on that next. Maybe I won't. We'll see. So then last but not least is, you know, future enhancements. Um, I actually have been looking at a lift kit for this. Uh, definitely going with the AEV 2.5 inch. I need to contact them, see if I can pick it up because they're a Michigan based company too. So, but when it comes to a lift kit, should I do tires too at the same time? Is that like my truck skipping leg day if I don't, or can I, can I hold off on that? Uh, c comment below so that I know if I should make sure I have enough to do tires and lift, or if you guys think it would be okay to just run stock tires until I can get those. Um, if I need to hold off because everyone thinks that, I might do so. Well, that's really all I have. Um, the truck to me is a great vehicle. Um, I haven't had as many issues as many people have reported, and I hope not to. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And hopefully it helped you guys to decide whether or not something like this is good for you. It's great for me, but it was going to be even if I was told that it wasn't. Well, thanks for watching. See you next time.